हेलो एवरीवन सो इन लास्ट लेक्चर्स आई टॉट हाउ टू फाइंड आर कर्ल पियर्सन कोफिशियंट ऑफ कोरिलेशन बाय यूजिंग डेविएशन टेकन फ्रॉम अर्थमेटिक मीन एंड व्हेन डेविएशन टेकन फ्रॉम अज्यूम मीन नाउ इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल सी हाउ टू फाइंड आर व्हेन स्टेप डेविएशन इज टेकन so in last lecture i taught first two method first was when deviation taken from arithmetic mean second when deviation taken from assume mean now we are seeing this third one when step deviation is taken so to explain this third one i am copying formula of when deviation taken from assume mean the second formula this is very important formula okay so first we will see when we will apply this formula and what is step deviation and step deviation is d equals to x minus a and this divided by i as we are using this formula for x so we will write this as dx and second is for dy and dy equals to what y minus b divided by j and we will see when we will apply this formula so we will see there is constant gap in x column of 5 there is constant gap of 5 so in all the terms you will see there is constant gap of 5 5 and this gap is considered as i sometime this gap may be in y also or only in y also so this gap is considered as j so if there is constant gap in x this is considered as i if there is constant gap in y this is considered as j so in this case there is no constant in y, gap in y so we will not consider this j quantity we will use only y minus b for this step deviation method and step deviations are denoted by not only d these are denoted by d dash so in this formula of uh, assume me we will replace all these d by d dash we will replace all these d by d dash so now this is the formula for step deviation method so as we have calculated dx in previous formula now we will calculate d dash we will calculate dy dash dx dash dy dash square dx dash into dy dash so first calculation of dx dash and formula is x minus a upon i and what is a so in this case we are taking a as this 20 this 20 as a and if this 20 as a then corresponding value of y is considered as what b so simply x is 5 uh, a is 20 so x equals to 5 a is 20 and gap i is what of 5 so this become minus c so this quantity is minus 3 in same way you can find all these values for all these different x values now you will find this d by dash formula for d by dash is y minus b and first value of y is 10 and b is what 21 so simply 10 minus 21 that is what minus 11 so in that way you can find 14 minus 21 15 minus 21 and so on and formula requirement is of dx dash square dy dash square also so we will create two column first for dx is dx dash square and second is for dy dash square and this is the product of dx dash and dy dash so one column is for product of these two so 
this is what this is summation d x dash and this second is what this is summation of d y dash and this is the summation of d x dash square and this is the summation of d y dash square and this is the product of uh, summation d x dash and d y dash. Now we will see formula. Now we will put all these value in formula. So you will see this as r equals to this is what fraction form two parts this is first under root this is second under root so in this case n equals to what in this case n equals to five pairs of x and y so we will put five here five here and five here and now summation dx dash and dy dash is this 62 this is 62 and then summation dx dash is what minus 5 and summation dy dash is minus 15 and in this first under root this is summation dx dash square this is multiplied by this one 15 and minus this summation dx dash whole square this quantity so this quantity is what minus 5 and its whole square. Now in second under root you will put all these values. This is what summation dy dash is square. So this is equals to 287 minus then next is summation dy dash whole square. So this is the square of minus 15. So on solving this quantity, you will see this as plus 0 0.95. So as this is positive, there is positive correlation. As this quantity near about 1, so we can say there is a strong correlation. And this is between two variables. First is what? Advertisement expenditure. And second is what? Sales. So I hope you understand this concept when a step deviation is taken for R. Now in next lecture, we will see how to find R using actual data. So please like this video and subscribe my channel, Ganit Coach. Have a nice day. Thank you.